Hey everyone, welcome back to Gas Mask 360. In today's episode, talking about anime. That's right, anime. Now, I might be focusing on some specific stuff here. Definitely be talking about Bleach in this episode. Um, but yeah, so... I just wanted to kind of give a little overview of how I first got into anime and kind of the effect it's had on me. So, when I was a kid, I would watch Toonami late at night. I, I think Toonami is still currently airing. I'm not entirely sure. I haven't heard a whole lot about it lately. I know it came back, I just don't know if it's still on the air. I assume it is. Um, but yeah, so I remember being exposed to a lot of shows uh, that way. Um, you know, the least of which being uh, Inuyasha, Cowboy Bebop, Ghost in the Shell. Um, so... So many others, they changed their lineup quite a bit, but there was a few constants on there. Those were some of the constant ones they always had. Um, but I remember even before that, you know, you had, uh, you had Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh! and uh, Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball GT, yeah. Big, uh, big Dragon Ball series fan as well. Um, but funny enough, when I was a kid, I didn't, I didn't really understand what anime was. I just thought they were just cartoons like anything else I'd seen. Um, so, like Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh, and Dragon Ball Z, I was just like, oh, that's, that's just, you know, cartoon. Um, like I said in my uh, manga and, and anime collection video, um, it was really Inuyasha where I kind of started to understand the difference. <laughs> um, and then kind of grasp the concept of like, oh, this is what that, that is. Okay. Um, so, while I am nostalgic towards Inuyasha, for, uh, you know, for that reason, um, and I, and I do remember enjoying watching it, staying up late to watch it amongst all the other shows, and again, Cowboy Bebop, Ghost in the Shell, Trigon, um, you know, there's just so many shows, um, there are a few shows specifically that I think really stuck out to me and spoke to me. Now obviously the first one being Dragon Ball Z. That that's definitely the earliest one that I that I definitely latched on to. Um it it, it is it is probably my second or third favorite anime to this day. Just just because of, you know, growing up on the show and playing all the video games and everything, it's it's just really stuck with me and I, I just really enjoy that universe. I think it's just a lot of fun. Um sure it might not be as as deep or, you know, as thought-provoking as some other shows out there. I mean, you know, it, 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 it's, it's a form of art, it's a form of media, um, and entertainment, and, uh, you know, we all, we all go into these things looking for something specific to us. And, you know, a show like Dragon Ball Z might not have what someone else is looking for. Um, and you know, you can, 
you could say, you know, it's all, it's just simple, turn your brain off, action, you know, two buff guys hitting each other really hard, and endless transformations, which, you know, <laughs> it is sometimes, uh, quite a bit of the time. But there is more to it than that, um, at least to me. Um, I think that there is some, there, there's definitely some depth there with, uh, specific characters. I mean, even Goku, the main character, he has depth. But, you know, <laughs> so, some of, uh, some of the nuance there might be lost if you haven't, like, watched the original Dragon Ball series, um, through Z. Um... But Z, you know, it's really about developing characters like Vegeta, Gohan, Piccolo, um, so many other characters aside from Goku. Um, and you know, so, so many fun villains like Frieza and Cell, Majin Buu. All, all fun and crazy in their own ways. And, uh, it just puts a smile on my face thinking of that. Um, moving on from that, because I didn't, I didn't really want to get caught up with Dragon Ball Z in this episode specifically. Um, there was another show that came out. Um. And this might surprise some of you. It's a little show called Naruto. Yep. Naruto. Now, this show did speak to me in a way. Um, with, with the main character, you know... You know, he, he, he's an outcast. You know, he, he's... He feels alone. You know, he feels... You know just isolated from everyone um, for various reasons has very few people he could he could rely on early on and, you know I felt that I felt that back then uh, back back in my younger days feeling alone and like no one really cared. But, uh, that was, that was, that was a pretty fun show. Um, I, uh, ended up finishing the story through the manga once I, uh, had kind of moved on and just got kind of caught up in watching other things or doing other things and didn't, I uh, didn't finish watching, uh, uh, the sequel to Naruto Shippuden. Or just the continuation, I should say. Not really a sequel. Um, just basically just the second half of Naruto. Just, um, but I finished it in the manga. This is like you know, I was invested enough. Once upon a time, I'll uh, I'll catch up through the manga and we'll we'll finish it that way. And uh, pretty pretty silly ending but you know what are you gonna do don't care so much for Boruto the little bit I have seen and read um I was like well we just we just gotta keep going for some reason um I mean I'm sure two hardcore Naruto fans it's like oh well I can't get enough it's just more Naruto um, considering that most of, like, the super popular stuff that happens in Boruto is only when Naruto and Sasuke show up, it might as well just still be called Naruto. Uh, that, that's just me, though. Um, but there is a... There's a show that kind of snagged my attention away from all others for a long time. And one that I definitely became quite obsessed with. And, uh, that's a little show, a little anime, called Bleach. It might be painfully obvious, 
So Bleach is my favorite anime series. Um, and I guess manga series, you know, same thing. Um, and geez, I don't even really know <laughs> where to begin with this. Um, well, let's begin from the beginning. Um, yeah, so let, let's, 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 let's start with this. The main character, Ichigo Kurosaki, Mr. Orange Strawberry Hair Man, your, uh, your, av- you know, your not so average 15 year old uh, high schooler. Um, I do think it's just hilarious how you can have 15 and 17 year old characters in anime and they look like they're mid 20s, you know, early 30s. It's just hilarious. Um, but yeah, so the main character is what uh, kind of captured me the most right away. And Ichigo is my favorite character in the whole series. Um, you know, I'm sure some of you might understand that, and some of you are like, there's gotta be way more interesting characters in Bleach than Ichigo. And, you know, I'm sure to someone else, there is. And there are some really cool, interesting characters in the show. Ichigo is just my number one. And there's a big reason why I like Bleach so much. Um, and I think it is pretty funny because unlike some of these other protagonists you get in these shows, uh, like a, a, lot of, a lot of people bring up, well, what's Ichigo's goal? What does he aspire to do with his power? Or what does he hope to accomplish? And, uh, you know, Ichigo doesn't have grand ambitions. Uh, he never did. <laughs> and he definitely didn't uh, get any. He didn't develop any over the course of the show, of the series. Um... Outside of, he just wanted to use his power to help people. Wanted to help his friends, his family, and just, you know, anyone he came across that needed his help. Um, he's just a good guy. Um, you know, he, he's got a bit of an attitude. You know, he's, he's kind of quiet, keeps to himself a bit. Um, but, you know... He always sticks up for the little guy. Um, always getting into fights with people, you know, to help other people. Um, you know, your, 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 your local neighborhood thugs or your school bullies. And uh, it's like, yeah, he doesn't, uh, he doesn't want to be, uh, you know, Hokage like Naruto, be, be the, the leader. Of, uh, of the ninja, he doesn't. Uh, he doesn't just want to be the strongest guy around. He doesn't seek power or strength um, like Goku does. To just, I just want to be the strongest and fight strong people. That's, that's not really him. Uh, he doesn't want to be king of the pirates like Luffy. Um, that's kind of the thing of like there's so there's so many of your stereotypical we'll say shonen protagonists that just want to be I just want to be the coolest guy around effectively and Ichigo doesn't um it's like yeah he uh he gets really strong gets really powerful 
but for the most part, he just wants to have a normal life. Um, he's never really gotten to have one. Um, uh, it's, it's made a point of he's always been able to see ghosts for some reason. You can always see the spirits of the departed. Um, and, uh, you know, he... He, he lost uh, he lost his mom at a young age, and he he's always kind of blamed himself for that. And that's kind of affected his outlook on life, and you know it's just he, he just wants to develop himself in the sense of I want this power to protect people close to me, and that's it. That that's the goal. Um. I, I find it interesting that that's a problem for people. Um, I mean, it, is it the most interesting goal? Um, is, it, is, it, is it the most, you know, crazy thing to do? No, not at all. It's, it's pretty simple. And you either resonate with it or you don't. And that resonated with me more than I thought it would. A lot more, actually. Um, because while I am endeared to several of these other series where, you know, the main character does want all these crazy things and wants to be the best there ever was, um, Ichigo is just one of the few protagonists that just feels like a real person. He, you know, you know, there's a point in the story where, you know, he, he's getting to kind of lead the normal life he's always wanted. And he's trying to get through school and doesn't really know what he wants to do with his life. Um, so, you know, he, he, he does, like, odd jobs for people, you know, to, to make money, and it's like he, he, he's figuring himself out as a person. Like, I mean, you have to keep in mind, like, <laughs> throughout the majority of the show, I mean, this is a 15, you know, up to 17-year-old, you know, person who's not even, you know, technically an adult yet. Um, still trying to, he's just figuring out his life. Um, and I think that, that aspect of Bleach being a, uh, and, and, and just the, the trials that Ichigo, you know, is kind of just forced into. Um, he doesn't go out seeking trouble a whole lot. He kind of just gets... Because of his situation he finds himself in, he's like, well... I guess I gotta do this. <laughs> like... Um... He's like, he's, he's gonna do what it takes to, to protect the people he cares about. And it sounds all sappy and silly and whatever. And it's, it is what it is. But I think, I think it's very endearing, the personal journey Ichigo undertakes to accomplish his goals. Um, when he's meditating in his inner world and, 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 and talking to, effectively, his other half, um, his, uh, his Zanpakuto spirit. Um, and... <laughs> You know they're they're fairly they're fairly cryptic with with what they tell him and everything, but they're they're him. They're they're, they're definitely him. They're they're not a separate entity or anything. Um, and they're just trying to help push Ichigo Ichigo along in their own way. Um, both his uh, his Soul Reaper and, and Hollow abilities have their own way of kind of nudging him forward in his life. And, Helping him come to terms with who he is and what he has to do. 
find it very, very interesting. Um, you know, it really is just like that coming to terms and that acceptance of, of yourself that, you know, can give you a lot of strength in life. And while, you know, if we do that, we're not going to be swinging, you know, magical swords around and shooting beams out of our hands and all that stuff once we, you know, kind of come to terms with and figure out who we are and everything in real life. Um, I think the portrayal of it in the show is, is very powerful. And that just really latched itself to me far more than I could, <laughs> far more than I ever thought it would. Um, no, I, 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 I absolutely adore uh, Bleach, and Ichigo is a big reason for that. Um, now, there's, there's, there's plenty of other things going on in Bleach besides Ichigo just trying to figure his own life out. Um, there's there's a de definitely a wide roster of characters, a, a plethora of them for, you know, fans to choose their favorites and, you know, whatnot, and, and, ship, and ship their favorites and all that fun stuff. Now, if we're going to get into all that, let's, uh... Let me, let me see here. We're gonna, do, this, we're gonna do top five. Top five favorite Bleach characters. And, uh, I think to start off at, uh, at number five, we have, uh, we have Yorwichi. I think Yorwichi is, is really awesome. Uh, she helps mentor Ichigo a bit. She can turn into a cat. Kind of disguise herself. And, uh, she's super fast, and just a total badass on, on the field, and, uh, very mesmerizing. Very mesmerizing. Um, number four, I would say that that definitely goes to my boy Grimjow here, just chilling with me right now. One of, uh, one of Ichigo's main, uh, antagonistic rivals. Uh, later down the line in the series. Um, yeah, Gr Grimjow is so badass. He, uh, he's a hollow. He's a, he's a hollow who has, a uh, has awakened Soul Reaper powers. Which is why he kind of looks, you know, more human than your average monster. Um, and he's, uh, he's a panther as well. <laughs> He was a, he was like a panther hollow before he was turned into a into a humanoid. So that's pretty cool. And his fights with Ichigo are just so fucking awesome. Like Gr Grimjow is one of the few characters that really just beats the shit out of the main hero, and you just love watching it. <laughs> like it's, it's it's like his fights with Ichigo are so great. Um. Number three, we got uh, one of, one of the main antagonists of the uh, of the entire series is uh, Aizen no Sosuke, Sosuke Aizen. Um, yeah, Aizen, 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 Aizen. Aizen is one of my favorite villains. Um, <laughs> period. Uh, spoilers if you haven't watched the show. Uh, I apologize for that. Um, it's kind of a twist in one of the earlier arcs that he's the main bad guy. Um, yeah, he's, he's, a, he's a master master manipulator. Um, he has the ability to hypnotize um, all your senses. Um, he can make you see what you want to what you want what he wants you to see. Not what you want to see. He can make you see what he wants you to see. 
as uh, as he describes it, he can you know <laughs> turn a fly into a dragon, and you're gonna it's it's gonna basically just be a dragon to you and everything that entails. Um, no, so it's such a such a great smug villain, just. <laughs> Definitely a cocky motherfucker, and that arrogance does uh, does get to him. Um, but it's so crazy because you know he's he's one of the few bad guys to really almost succeed in what he plans to do, and even though he does technically lose in the end, um, he's immortal. <laughs> he successfully became immortal, so they can't kill him. Um, so he's, uh, he's sitting pretty with that. Um, he's just, uh, he's got like 20,000 years, uh, in solitary confinement to think about what he's done, to see if he, uh, <laughs> might turn over a new leaf by the time he gets out. Um, no, Eisen, Eisen's fucking fantastic, I love him. Um, number two, we got Kimpachi Zaraki. And, uh, if you know Kimpachi, dude is a ruthless, ruthless, powerful son of a bitch. And, uh, he, uh, he, he, he fought Ichigo at one point, um, earlier on in the story. That was, that was a fucking awesome fight. Um, proof that Ichigo could go toe-to-toe with a captain. Um, his first captain battle, and it was definitely a good one to start with. Um, uh, Kimpachi is is one of the strongest individuals in the entire show, and uh, he's so powerful he has to always handicap himself so he can enjoy a fight. Because if he fights at full strength, the battle's just over. And, uh, so he'll, he'll do everything to have his, his power siphoned away from him. Um, he'll put, like, little bells on him so people can hear when he's coming. Um, he'll usually let the opponent hit him first. Kimbachi's just such a fucking badass. He's, He's definitely my favorite captain. Um... Of the uh, the Soul Reapers, um, no, he's he's fucking great. And then obviously number one's Ichigo for all the reasons I just explained. Um, you no, know, like Bleach, Bleach is great. I, I absolutely absolutely adore it. I don't expect everyone to understand or get it. Um, that's absolutely fine. We all we all like our own things for our own reasons. I just uh, really wanted to come on here and, and gush a little bit about anime and Bleach specifically. Um, yeah, there's there's so many things that I could that that you could talk about um, in regards to Bleach itself. Um, the, uh, the, the part that's gonna be animated here, hopefully by the end of next year, is what I'm hoping. Um, the, uh, Thousand Year Blood War, the final arc of the manga. Don't want to dive too deep into that because, you know, obviously, spoilers, especially for some people watching this, that, uh, are still interested in, in seeing how the story ends. I don't really dive, I don't want to dive into that part of the show. It is the part of the story. Um, but everything, everything leading up to that moment, it's pretty good stuff. And the show, show's got a lot of filler. Um, you know, a lot of the filler fights are pretty good. <laughs> Not all their stories are so good, though. Um, I mean, I, I, I definitely sit through it all, for sure, but um, I'd probably end up going back to filler 
and not let it interrupt the main story like it usually tends to do. Um, yeah, currently Bleach is about 366 episodes. And if you cut out all the filler, it knocks it down to probably about half that. <laughs> about 150, 160 something. Fucking crazy. Um, I, I've been exposed to quite a bit of anime. Um, definitely a lot more of the mainstream stuff. Um, Hunter x Hunter's pretty good. Um, Kill the Kill's pretty good. JoJo's Bizarre Adventure's pretty good. And, uh, Attack on Titans, fantastic. It's definitely, uh, it's definitely shot up there for me. Um, I think by the time we get to the end, might be my second favorite anime. I think, uh, I think Bleach is just a bit too wedged in there for me, for, uh, for Attack on Titan to be number one. Um... It needs to be number two, though. And that's not a bad thing. Highly enjoy that. Highly enjoy that series so far. Um, definitely highly recommend it, by the way. Um, I recommend every show that I've mentioned. Um, uh, Fate Zero uh, and uh, Fate Stay Night. Also, also really good series to, to check out. Um... Depending on the person, I don't think I would uh, venture too far outside of those two fate, fate series, but there's quite a bit more out there if you want to dive into it. Um, but yeah, so... <laughs> this, this has definitely been me more rambling than anything else. Um, not all entirely coherent. Um... But you know, I'm I'm doing I'm literally doing all this off the top of my head right now. I don't I didn't make up a script or anything to go off of or anything fancy like that. Kind of keep me on track, as it were. But uh, yeah, guys, um, just want to share those thoughts with y'all uh, for today and. See you in the next video. Catch you later. Peace out.